And you'll meet another woman who says, I don't like white people, they are all trash. This is that woman. She is white, by the way. First, we want you to meet David. He says his friend T is a racist who can't stand black people. What does he say about black people? He thinks they stink, and then they don't shave or anything like that, or, like, they wear weaves, and they just ignorant to be around. He just thinks they're ignorant to be around with. And he, so he, he thinks, he thinks he black people like, like just want to smoke weed, get drunk, and just want to sit around doing okay. nothing. Would you like to meet T? Yeah. All right, come on out, T. <laughs> about black people? Yeah. Have you looked in the mirror? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want anything to do with black people? No, not really. What? Why? They're all scurvy and they're up to no good, all trying to get over on somebody. You're, okay, we got it. I saw your hand go up. Wait, go ahead. Go ahead. You don't look too bad of yourself, Chief. How you gonna sit there and just diss the whole race like that? Cuz, y'all know the deal, y'all. Y'all, y'all. Y'all, y'all, y'all. What you mean, y'all? I ain't like y'all. I ain't like y'all. Be, be, like be real, now be real. Be real, man, like that's all. Though. So, if you're out or you're going down the street and somebody says a racist remark to you about being black, how do you feel? Well, well, you know what I'm saying? I'm black, but I don't act like them. I have manners. They, they don't got no manners. You know what I'm saying? He is my boyfriend, and I'll have you know, he shaves, he bathes, he works, he does all the things well, that white people do. Well, that's your man, so stick with him. Oh, I, I am. Thank you. I will. Yeah. You, um... More power to y'all. You don't... You've never dated a black woman? One time, it was gross. What happened? <laughs> what happened? What was gross about it? What happened? That was... She had hair up on her armpits, they don't say they leg, they got weave in their hair. Yeah. Only problem he got with black women is that he can't handle one. Demolition. Man. See, are you uh, kind of mixed up yourself? Because I noticed you can't identify with black because you got blonde hair. Your skin is brown. You the don't know what like you it, are yourself. Like so that. maybe you're a Miss This Place yourself. How does... She... Do you guys, you guys go out together, David? You hang out? Yeah, yeah that's mean, my, yeah, my dude my best right friend, here. Like, does you know? he say rude people, rude things to people when you're out? Yeah, not to them, but like to me. I mean, he don't go up to him and say something to them. I mean, he'll come back to me and tell me or something like that. So, so, so you don't, you'll like the one, you'll like black people if they have manners. What if a nice, young, good-looking black woman comes along that's polite? You wouldn't want to take her out? Oh, and, and in order for me to date a black girl, she got to be light-skinned, tall, skinny, with long hair, and, and her nails got to be always done. Her nails got to be done? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think you live up to every woman's dream standards there, T? What's up? What's up? I don't know what you said. I didn't, I didn't hear you. <laughs> Now, I say you expect a lot, but do you think you live up to what every woman wants? Hey, yep. Yeah. Wait, let me... <laughs> you Do you get women chasing you all the time? White girls. White girls are chasing you all the time? Yeah. And, and the, the benefit of being with a white girl is what? Well, how are they better? They just, they always smell good. They got long hair, natural long hair. They don't got to go in the bathroom for two hours to make themselves look decent. They just wake up in the morning, just brush their hair, they look good again. In, you, in your words, you say that you can't cope. You can't cope with black people, you say. Oh, no, black girls got, got an attitude, a bad attitude. I can't deal with that. All black women have bad attitudes? Yeah, well, you know what I'm saying? There's, yeah. there's Man, a Man, the only of... girl that wants to be with you has got to be deaf, dumb, and blind. <laughs> trying to disrespect any race here, but obviously you don't know what a real woman is because you've never been with a Latina chick. Hey, T. How, uh, just, just, just to 
apply, you know, I don't know if you consider that Caucasian. How about a Latina girl, a Mexican girl? I don't Hispanic? know. I mean, they fine, too. You know what I'm saying? But I just can't do no black girl. You're fine. He said you're fine. So, David, how, why is he, I mean, you still hang out. This is your friend, right? I mean, uh. Yeah, I mean. I mean, he thinks whatever he wants to think, I guess. You're still his friend? It doesn't yeah. matter, right? Yeah. Let me introduce uh, Robin here. Now, he says his girlfriend, Teresa, hates white people so much that she'll walk out of a restaurant if there are white people eating there. Unbelievable. And, like, one white person as a customer, where do you go eat then? Um, we just go in a place that's predominantly black. Really? Yes. Okay. She doesn't, she doesn't um, enjoy, like, white people that... Um, that it looks at her yeah. crazy. Okay. She don't like that at all. All right. Would you like to meet this woman, Teresa? Okay. Yeah. You want to meet Teresa? Come on down. I love my urban lifestyle. What's your I'm lifestyle? From the Describe ghetto. Your... I love the ghetto. I'm from Miami. Hey, yeah. I love black people. I'm down with all black people. Yeah. All. It's I'm fine down. to I embrace. Just... That's fine to embrace that. But but what? No, but you you don't like white people. I'm because they don't understand me. Just like when I came out here. Look how look how they were. Boo boo boo. It ain't about boo. It's about I'm a unique individual. I'm educated. I go to school. I work every day. I don't bother nobody. But you nobody. also have hate in your heart. No, I don't have hate. I just don't deal with What's white people. What's her opinion, Robin? I don't What's her opinion of white people? I don't have people? any white friends, none. What do you do for a living? I'm a cosmetologist. You're a hairstylist? Yes. Okay. <laughs> you, you actually have... You, she has confrontations with white. I have confrontations right? with whites all the time. Over I have what? an outlandish temper. Because I don't like people to stare at me. When I see punk rockers, I don't stare at punk rockers. When I see women like this woman, I don't, I don't look at her in any different way. So you have a bad temper. I wouldn't, I wouldn't intentionally start nothing with no white people. Was something done to you when you were young to make you feel this yes, way? Yes, all my life my family told me. Most white people, they can say what they want to say. If my mother went somewhere when I was younger, you would never know she was a racist. But when she came in the wall to my home, don't mess with black people. They're bad. They're wrong. When really it was the white people who was telling to, to be hate. But hateful. you're following in her footsteps because you're no, a racist I'm not. too. No, I'm not. Like I said, I don't you hate no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Where do you because because I'm unique, because I'm unique, because I love black people the way I do, I'm wrong for that. Yeah, I just want to know if Teresa is the type of girl that T is looking for. Hell no. 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 I told you. No. I'm too black for him. So she'll make a scene at a restaurant, Robin? Yeah, she'll, like she'll be very outlandish. Like if, a, if there's a group of white people in this restaurant, we can't go there. We have to go somewhere that's predominantly mm -hmm. black. She just think white people are nasty. And this is the woman you love? Oh, most yeah, definitely. most definitely. Do you have children? Yes. Do you teach them to no. not like that part no, of themselves? No, I teach my children to like who they like. But if you don't like that part, how are you going to teach them to like that part? What do you mean? I tell my child, if she, if she grows up to marry a white man, a black man, a, 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 a Latin, anything, I don't, I don't discriminate against Why can't you teach that? yourself that? It's a because good lesson. Because I don't choose to be like, I don't want that. take a break. When we come back, a black man who says he can't stand black women because they only care about one thing, money. Let me have this word to describe black women. What's the word? It's smid. S-H-M-I-D. What does that stand for? Superficial, hypocritical, materialistic, immature, and disrespectful. Anyway. Oh, okay. Anyway, just like most black women feel, I feel. He's sitting up here saying all we want is gold. I wear jewelry, but You're that's not, not what I want. My man gives it you're offending her because she thinks she's black. No, I don't think I'm black. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, I want you to meet Ron. He says his friend Greg, who is backstage, is racist towards black women. Ron says Greg should love black women because if it was a black woman who brought him into this world, that's how he... How does he feel about women? What does he say about black women? Oh, God. Uh, basically, he says that he's superficial. All they want is money. Only after... Only, only after money. Would you like basically... to see what Greg looks like? Yeah. That's it. Okay, Greg, look right over here. Come on, Greg. Okay, Greg. You made you made up a word. We got. Let me let me go to a black lady first here. What do you want to say? Yeah. I can see why you guys only want white girls because the way you two brothers look, don't know black women want y'all. What's wrong with her? What's wrong with Greg? No, no, she's talking about Greg. Greg's not a good-looking guy. Um, well, I mean, he wouldn't be my choice. No. I mean, I'm not so to this is you, you're just assuming that she's only after money, mm -hmm. right? And you have what? What's your what's your uh, you did you use, you made up this word to describe black women? What's the word? This is S H M I D. What does that stand for? Superficial, hypocritical, materialistic, immature, and disrespectful. Anyway. Oh, okay. All, anyway. all right. Saying? That's how it is. I mean, it's always right. been. So you my say, generation. Pr I mean, pretty much it's my generation. Pretty. You've much. never dated a white woman, or black woman. What? I have. You have? I have. How'd it go? They all, they all they want is money. You know what I'm saying? You go, I mean, okay, say you, you getting off of work, right? You getting off McDonald's or Burger King, whatever. You may, you may, you may be greasy. You may be greasy. Looking kind of dirty, all right? Nothing wrong with a job at McDonald's. I'm, I'm not saying I work there. I'm just saying, for example, if you have somebody that's all nasty and walking through them all, I mean, you know what I'm saying? And they, you go and holler at them. They might say, oh, okay, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Girl, he ain't got no name okay. brand shoes or nothing. Okay. Oh, look at, no, what up? Let the same person come with, I mean, Nautica and Tommy down with gold rings. Oh, you getting plenty of holiday in, plenty uh, of That it. word you just used, Smith, I'm looking at it right there. Okay. okay. Whatever. 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 Bring it on. See, I have a theory. I have a theory. I read your interview last night, Greg, and I read about you, and you said that uh, black women don't take care of or respect their men. Ask a black woman to make you a sandwich, and she says, "Do it yourself." You want? I mean, basically, I mean, they they're act too like strong for you. They act like Jenny, they act like it's slavery or something. They act like, you know, what I'm saying they can't, they can't be submissive. They can't be passive. You know, what I'm saying you sitting back coming from a day's work, and you ask for a sandwich. I ain't no so slave. So white women are that. submissive and passive? It's not just white women. I mean, don't don't just point at white women. I mean, it's it's all Who other races. Date? I have fun with other races of women. Who do you I, we date? Kick it, we Who do you whatever. date? What what race do you date? Any other race, whatever it is. Except white, Puerto Rican. It could be Oriental. You know what I'm saying? They respect their men. They got more unity. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All these is trying to do is be like Little Kim. That's all she is, a modern day preacher. If she did, if what if black women didn't feel like that, records wouldn't sell from Little Kim. They wouldn't sell because you relate to it. This question is for Teresa. Yeah, Teresa. What? Okay. If she says she has no hate for nobody, right? Then what does she call it? I call it my individual choice to choose to be around the people that I enjoy the most. I enjoy black people. I love my mm -hmm. urban lifestyle. I want to make that known. I love my urban lifestyle. Won't change it. Don't care what nobody says. I love it. There is none. The it's what I if you, choose. If you choose to be with all black people, right? All black. I don't you know hate no white people. people. You hate white people. You I choose not to be with them, am I don't interact with them. I don't, I don't, I don't hang around with them. I don't know else. any. It is prejudice. It is prejudice. You can't deny it's, it's prejudice. prejudice. Yeah. Yeah. G and Teresa, they've been sitting up there rolling their eyes and acting like they're disgusted with what the other guests are saying. You are just like them. No, you know, not can't really. Can't you react to Greg? Yeah, and T no. No, I'm not. acted now, like see, Teresa was crazy when wrong. she came. Wait a minute, you think Greg is wrong? Of course, I think he's wrong. He, wow. he's, because, all, like I said, all my life I have lived an urban lifestyle. Just like most black women feel, I feel. He's sitting up here saying all we want is gold. I wear jewelry, but you that's know? not what I want. My man gives it to me. Okay, but Jane, saying, but Jane, I know, Jane, let me say You're something. offending her because she thinks she's black. No, I don't think I'm black. But Jane, What was proven? My point, my point was proven as soon as I got how? on stage. How? Tell us how. That girl right there, the, the one with a little bit right there in the, in the Nike outfit or whatever. 
Okay. Two. She go. I came on stage, and her first thing is, oh, the way you guys look, this or that. I mean, personally, first of all, that's the superficial part right there. It's nothing wrong with how I look, no matter what you feel. Well, that's subjective. Okay, the first time I, the first time I come out here, she proving what I'm saying. Exactly. She not, she don't even, she's not even listening to what I have to say, and then she's saying the way you look. Hold on, I'm talking about quality. I'm talking about quality as far as being able to be in a relationship. Quality and he's not being superficial, talking about the little ponytail and this or that. What's up with stereotyping? Thank have you. you dated all black women? No, I all right all then, how women. can you stereotype all black? Yes, you are. That was an example. That that's was an example, ma'am. Ma'am, that was an example. You know, that's, that's all. Example. And when we get rid of a stereotype, then maybe we can have this problem. Look at the dictionary. All black, black women don't act like that. that. All black women no. ain't got gold teeth and don't You're wear right. weeds. I, I, I you know that, but I'm using that as an example. I'm using that as an example. You stereotype me as wanting to be black because of the way I look. Because I enjoy my life. People gonna be stereotyping you by the way you act, and that's why you keeping the stereotypes alive. I mean, but she the way you dress, the way you act, you stereotyping us. I don't like that. What? Which was it? Because they all think like that. Look how I look. You know how I'm acting. You know how you act like you're the bomb. Because you say something about the way I presented myself. I don't like the way your boy presented you. Your boy came out and presented you first of all. Okay, well then put it on that. Then I'm thinking you going off my looks or something. I'm thinking you dog. Maybe he was wrong. Did Ron say anything that was wrong about you? You said you were. But when she came out here, she said the way you look, nobody. What, what do you mean by that? Can I tell you what I think she meant? When someone's not attractive on the inside, the outside doesn't look good either, no matter what they look like. That's what she meant. Okay. Okay. My question is for Dave. Do you have the same opinion about of T towards white people or black no. people or whatever? No, I don't. No. You no. have no racism? No. Nope. It's interesting that you can hang out with someone who is. That's why I was yeah, asking. No, no. It doesn't yeah. bother me at all. What, Greg? Go ahead. I want, do you think you're black? No. Okay, so what did you disagree yeah, with? I'm a unique individual. I want, what did you disagree with what I said? That's what I wanted to know. You said you disagree. You don't, you don't like black women because you think they're superficial. I have plenty of black, strong women Okay, I don't want to know what she meant by who, that. Okay. Who, who work. But you who do see a similarity, no though, Teresa, between you and Greg. There's no similarity between me and him. Uh, You're racist and he's racist. And What's like the difference? Okay. I'm not a racist. What's the difference? Yes, you are. No what? No what? I'll, be, I'll let you respond. we got to take a break. Okay. After the break, Greg wants to disagree with me. Also, we'll come back. And the, his sister has three different children. This next guy by three different African-American men. He says all those children are going to grow up to hate themselves for being part black. He'll explain that theory when we come back. Okay, this is Teresa here. She says her brother James refuses to accept her biracial children. Uh, how many children? I have three. Three children. Right. Has he always been, will you call him a racist? Yeah, I would call him a racist. Has he always been that way? Yes. Does he have any relationship with them? No. What's, what's his problem with blacks? I don't know. I well, don't know. Let's <laughs> ask him. James yeah, is backstage. James, come on down. something we don't know. James, this is James, your brother and sister. Yes, right. we are. You disapprove of her relationships and her children. Yes. Right? Yes. They're all fathered by a black man. Hmm? Oh. What? Let's not. Let's not do that. Let's not do that, okay? Well, just, let's not use that. That's a very inflammatory word. We know, I, can we assume that you are a racist? You could probably assume that, yes. Okay. And the problem you have with blacks is what? They always want a white woman for a first place trophy. Uh, they feel we owe them something because of slavery, uh -oh. you know? Okay. Have you ever ha ever had black friends or an associ ever associated with black people? No. So you don't really know them? No. no. Right? No. As far as what? I mean, you don't, you, you don't even know any black people, right? Oh, I do. Ha I associate with uh, some black people in society, you know. I work with a few. Okay. And aren't they decent enough people? I don't particularly care for them. You no. don't like them? Okay. And she has three children. These are your... Nieces and nephews, right? She has right? three mixed children, yes. Yeah. Do you even talk to them or have any relationship? None? No. Do you think there's any chance he's going to come around and change his mind? No. What's that, what's that in your hand? Can I ask you? This here's a shirt. I'm, I'd like to give it to her. It's, it's about a black language. You guys are trying to pass the language here in America. It's called a bonnix. 
And, uh, Ebonics? It's an yeah. Ebonics shirt? I do not want it. Okay. We got a thing here. You vote for Bubbo. It's a vote against Ebonics. Okay. And that's for you. Give it. Did you grow up in the same it. house? You grew up in the same house, Teresa and, uh, and James, right? You grew up in the same house? Yes. How did you come out to be not prejudiced and he is? I don't know. I don't Maybe she made me this way. Why? Why? You know? Huh? Why does How she, could I why make do you, you like that black way? Men? Why? I don't know. I just, you don't I like your race? You don't like your race? I, like I, like I, I don't have a problem with Maybe being white. So, James, do you, you know, have any specific... Pay attention to society. Are you defending blacks now, Greg? No, but what I'm yeah. saying is... What I'm saying is... <laughs> no! So I'm black. I'm black. My problem is yeah. with black women, Jenny. 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 Let yeah. me say this. Let me yeah. say this. My problem is with black women, but I'm saying he, he dogging the whole, the whole black race. At least I can say that I've been brought up around black people, and I can base experiences on something. Whereas he dogging black people, and he don't know, he just told you straight up. He ain't never been around. Yeah, I've been around. She dogged him around my whole life, she did. Yeah. All right? I don't... Do yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, no, my whole life I just want to say that racist is racist no matter what you call it. In order to love someone else, you first got to love yourself. The man you're with now, Teresa, John, right, is backstage. Right. And James, have you met John? This is this is yes, your Yes, I your, have met him. Your current boyfriend, Teresa. Right. Father of your child. Yes. Of one of the children. Right. The other two children has a different father. That my, all my children have different fathers. Have different fathers. Yeah. And two okay. out of three were in jail when the child was born. So. Okay. So. Well, you know, maybe so. black or white, she's picking the wrong guys. Yeah, maybe, yeah, but really. John, you don't accept John. If he were white, you wouldn't care. You would, you'd, you'd like him. She's never dated a white guy. Okay. Never once. If you meet John and maybe talk to him a little bit, maybe you'll learn to like him a little bit. I don't believe so. I mean, uh, give him a chance. I, I heard just one instance that my mother had told me. Uh, he, he's smoking. He smoked crack, babies, and she's at work, and he has a heart attack. The older, the oldest of the kids. How old is he? Seven, six. Seven. Seven had to call nine one one. For for John. Yes. Does John, John. have some problems, Teresa? Does, he, yeah, he has some problems, but who doesn't have problems? Is he a good guy for you and for your children? Yeah. No. Well, let's meet John. Let's meet John. Come on out here, John. <laughs> so I guess not, we don't have family dinners at this household, huh? No. Have you ever talked to, to, to uh, James before? For about two minutes. Yeah. Does he have any reason to dislike you? Forget skin color. Any reason to dislike you with his sister? No. Steve. I'm just wondering if the problem is... I was like a white man that smokes crack and has a heart attack and tries to babysit kids. Mm -hmm. First of all, I don't know where he gets this crack smoking stuff from. He lives in Florida. I stay in Toledo. He's spreading false rumors over there. How do you know mother. he's smoking? How do you know he's yeah, doing something with our mother? Huh? And she, she, I live with our mother, me and her mother. And they do have a pretty close relationship. So I hear a lot of what happens. Okay. You hear a lot of false rumors. You smoke crack. Are you denying that? Yeah, I've, you hear a lot of false rumors. You don't even know me. So you're denying it. Just because you hate yourself, you want everybody else to I hate, hate people, too. I love myself. I love every white person in this room. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Who do you think you are to dislike a whole race? I'll pray for you. I have no, you done nothing to first. any one of you, but you can hate me because I'm white. You have nieces and nephews that have your blood, and you don't like them. What is up with that? But what are they? Are they white or black? They're your blood. It doesn't matter what color blood. they are. They're not my blood. They're, they're, they're your relatives, James. I don't hate, I don't oh, hate Greg, what are you going to be the expert now? What? No, <laughs> <laughs> What she said about everybody up on the panel uh, is, is hate. I'm just saying I don't hate. You know what I'm saying? I'm yes, not gonna you hate. do, Greg. No, I'm yes, not. you Jenny, do. I'm not gonna hate my. my uh, I'm not gonna hate black women. But okay. what I'm saying is, just because I, I am black, don't mean I gotta limit okay. myself to Here's, black women. Just okay, because. then go on a date with this lady tonight after the show. Are you single? Okay, look at look at this gorgeous woman. Go on a date with her tonight. I'll buy. But you know what though, Jenny? Only thing is though. I'll buy. Only thing is. If you don't do that, if you don't do that. Hey, Jenny. She's beautiful. Jenny. She's gorgeous. Jenny. She might. You know, and you know what? Inside, she might be a good person. But you know what? Yet have my eyes seen, seen a sincere person when it comes to, you know what I'm saying? Yo, if you don't want to come. Go ahead, man. I mean, because I know my chances. So you know, I don't have a hair. Hey, Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. I don't have a hair and bone on. So chances are she ain't having them. I don't have gold rings on. These, these You're are so close-minded, uh, Greg. Yeah. It's not working, Greg. 
Whatever. It's not working. I'm it's just not sorry. working. I'm sorry. Okay, I want you to meet Lori. She says her friend hates white people and sees herself as a Mexican. She's not. She's not Hispanic. No, she's, she's Caucasian. Blonde hair, blue eyes. Yeah. But she lives as a Hispanic person. Yes, she does. Very Hispanic. And she makes herself look Mexican. Yeah, she right? does. The dark makeup. She has boots. She's got... What is that? This is... I'm sorry. Hello? Okay. Oh, no. She's a Mexican stripper. No. We could do... Well, it doesn't look like a lot of clothes, but... Uh, well, let's see. I mean, she is Caucasian, but she's wants to. She tries Blonde to look Mexican. Let's meet Michelle. She's right up here, Michelle. <laughs> are you uh, are you hoping to pass for Mexican? <laughs> well, huh? she needs uh, her makeup a little darker. What's the <laughs> What is the uh, what's the fascination for you with the Mexican culture and tall, dark, and luscious? You, what, you like, okay, you can like Hispanic men, but you know you can still be who you are. Why do you li you live a, like everything about you? What do you what do you she eat? She says no chocolate, no vanilla, only caramel. Does that make her swirl? Right. <laughs> you listen to Mexican music, yes. right? Eat Mexican food. Mm -hmm. My what? husband is Mexican. You're married to a Mexican? Yes, I am. And when you have uh, parties and stuff, what goes on? With um, the piñatas? And... Piñatas, carnitas, yeah. tortillas. tortillas. <laughs> Jenny. That's it. <laughs> but this is all this tortillas right here. It's like this, Jenny. I like no. McDonald's and ella quiere Taco Bell. <laughs> so you're calling it a fast food and she's going... You know, you know what, Jenny, no? Yo quiero Taco she... Bell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, but she can't talk, okay? We're talking about your love for Mexican heritage or culture, but yeah. you really don't have a fondness for, for white people, no. Caucasians. No, I don't. What's the problem with them? Everyone I have met, every man I've met has been lazy. Every white man? Every man. Every white man. man. Okay. Yeah. Well, sorry guys, but it's true. Okay. You look like you. My ex-husband, yeah. I mean, every problem I've ever had with white guys, my ex-husband used to beat me. I have never had a Mexican Okay, so that's man. one bad guy, but you can't say all... Oh, you say no. you're embarrassed that your mother oh. is white. Well, I'm white. What a, so I mean, does she I know how you feel? You're not white. She just... I am. Huh? She's not white. Okay. What, what is she? My mother was a British Mexican man also. You say all... There's not a good white guy in the whole world? I haven't met one. She loves... Yeah, what do you want to say? I'm sorry. If you I want to meet a white Hang on one guy... I mean, I can understand that. I mean, I have nothing wrong with the Spanish tradition. I, I'm an interpreter. I, I speak Spanish and English. Yes, okay. I speak Spanish and English fluently. Uh -huh. So I understand that. I understand. I enjoy the cultures, music, things of that nature, la paella, etc., etc. But when you have an identity crisis, that's a different thing. There's a, dip, there's a difference. There's a difference with that. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, hey. There's a difference with that. Can you speak Spanish? Can you even speak Spanish? You're sitting yeah. next to an identity crisis there. Huh? We got a we got a we got a more serious identity crisis in this panel, no. sitting right next to you. You don't I think don't, you I have an no. identity crisis? racism. My family taught me it was wrong to like black people. My family taught me that. I took it upon myself to be open-minded and say, I can't okay. dislike. So don't no, blame wait, your wait, family. Wait, wait. This, this, this is your choice. This is the kind of experience I want to know if, of um, since you do, I've dealt with, with white people. I want to know, since you do hair, would you turn down customers if they walked no. through the door because they're I white? Oh, all money. She wants oh, to do my hair. Well, oh, the white money's money okay. Hair. You'll take, black you'll take the white money. Yeah. Oh, she was yeah. not planning yeah. to do We got to take hair. a break. When we come back, she says she gave black people a chance, but they were ignorant to her, so she no longer wants anything to do with them, and she is black. Okay, I want you to meet Pearl. She says her cousin Musit is racist and refuses to have anything to do with black men. Um, she has some pretty strong feelings about him. Yes, she well, like, does. Wh wh what's her problem? Well, she says that um, black people in general uh -huh. are ignorant. She downs black women. She thinks that she's better. I think she don't believe she's black. <laughs> the girl she... is ridiculous. She's so ridiculous to the point, Jamie. She's light-skinned, right? Yeah. 
So she put on white foundation uh -huh. to make her skin more fair. There's nothing wrong with contacts if you want to beautify yourself. Oh, but she honey, wears contacts? She wears them to look white. Weave to look white. She wants to be white. Be yourself is my point. Well, let's, see, what you, let's see how she looks today. Her name is Musette. Come on down, Musette. <laughs> Are you wearing okay, contacts today? Are you wearing contacts? Yes. What color? Green. Green, okay. Is it safe to say that you don't like yourself? No. You don't like not... blacks, right? No, that's huh? untrue. You said blacks are I ignorant? I said the ones that I came encounter with while growing up has mistreated me. You that's said that not Pearl... all of them. You said Pearl gets upset because of your feelings towards blacks. Yes, but, but she can't understand my bad experiences that what I went through while growing up. Okay. So have you dated a black man lately? No. Would you? Uh, not right now because I'm in a happy relationship. If you, weren't, if you weren't with a white man, would you date a black man if you were, if you were single? If I found one that I was compatible with, yes, I would. No, I guess, I guess a do. date with Greg would be out of the question then, huh? Uh, <laughs> huh? <laughs> not going to happen? Excuse uh, me? We have, show me that card again. What does that say? We have video of Greg checking her out during the walk on. when I first came on here, my, my part in not dating black women mm -hmm. did have nothing to do with superficial qualities. See, what were you looking at? I was looking at a nice looking black woman. Okay. That has nothing to do with a black woman being able to hold a responsible relationship and something like that. That's what I'm saying. So that has nothing. Okay, so I, I look at her. So you're assuming that she's not a good person, that she's going to want money. I'm not and... assuming. I'm just saying I'm not going to take that chance. Then, then my ask her out. Are. Then ask her out. You ask her out. Uh, <laughs> shoot. Is that, that's what I'm, Greg that's what I'm wants to take you out to dinner people tonight. Not, people are not going, I'm, I'm Greg people wants not to take you out to dinner you. tonight. He's afraid to ask you. He, yeah, he asked afraid. me to ask you. I couldn't because I already oh, have a Oh, she's got a guy. She's got a guy. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay, we got some picture. By the way, what, she yeah, said, Pearl, right. give us the true story. Because I think she's sort of backpedaling here. Oh, they're not so bad. Well, Tell us the truth. No, she does not like black men. Period. Period. Would you call her a racist? I think so. Okay. Would you I call yourself so that? Against her own no, that you wouldn't. Is totally but untrue. you would not date a black man. No, no I didn't she say wouldn't. that. No, huh? I didn't right. say that. If I, if I'm in your sueños, it means in your dreams. In the sueño. In the sueño. Oh, you mean a black unless he's unless he's Mexican. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, you don't like the music. You don't like uh, the, the, the the you said blacks don't use proper English, right? I you don't like. The blacks that I've came encounter with to down me, because they, they'll approach me while okay, growing up. They'll those say, blacks, well, you talk what about to the rest of the world? All of them aren't like that. Hmm? So I'm not saying every black person Sherry, is I've like that. I've went through that. I've had people down me. I mean, for God's sake, you're tall and you're thin. <laughs> when no, I no. was in school, black people, it does not matter. Black people, white people, whatever. They talk about you because you're tall. and That don't mean I'm going to say, oh, I hate black people. No, 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 no. Well, it's just like I point. You know, I point. My you, point, you just don't want to take no. the heat and like Greg took. No, you, no, you no, are, they will approach me. They will approach me. You, that, and you say, are racist in your heart. Admit it. No, I do not. They You're will racist in your heart. Me and they'll say things like, um, well, why do you talk so proper like a white girl? I'm speaking proper English. This is our friend and resident expert, Dr. Brenda Wade, psychologist. You've been back there listening. I did hear some gross stereotyping. I really did. The idea that all black women are alike, I didn't say, all oh, white people are alike, right. or that... No, excuse me, I'm not speaking about okay. you at the moment, oh, okay. just a moment. I'm sorry. Okay, what I'm saying is that there are many, many people who are sitting here who are making gross generalizations. The problem with that is that when we take a narrow view of anyone and say that everyone who looks like this is like this on the inside, 
we're missing the most obvious part of being human, which is that we're all different on the inside. Mm -hmm. None of us can be the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, Teresa, Teresa, I want to say to you that you mentioned that you grew up in a home with a mother who was very racist. My and whole family and is yeah. Racist. So it sounds as if part of what's happened for you is growing up in that atmosphere, you made a decision, I don't want to be like them. But you may have swung too far this direction no. and you're overcompensating. <laughs> if we were, well, disagree with me but hear me out first okay you're free to disagree with me nobody has to agree with me let me just make this point the problem you may have backed yourself into without meaning to is in wanting to move away from them which you know I can support you not wanting to be racist is when we swing 180 degrees from dysfunction we end up in dysfunction again what I'm saying is if I've only had narrow experiences if I've Talk only to the had if I've only had negative experiences mm -hmm. with white people that's like to say if someone points a gun at me and I know they're about to rob me, anytime I see someone point a gun at me, I'm thinking they're going to rob me. You're making me. an excellent point. What's important right that you're saying, and I want to say this also to Musette, is that it's the common experience for us to be hurt by the people that we grow up with, but we have to work that through so that we can feel whole, and we can't feel whole if we can't love who we are. It's I very, know very, very You know where I see the most black. hatred in, in this mm -hmm. room is James right here who seems you know. very well, close-minded. You know I want to say something about this. I'm taking all my notes back here. I was mm -hmm. listening carefully. The problem I think you might have isn't so much the color of your sister's bows, but the fact that I think you picked some guys who were not quite up to snuff. If they were in jail or if they're using drugs or if they're not there for your children, I don't care what color they are. You need to be more discriminating about who you pick. It doesn't matter what color they are. So, James, what I wanted to say is perhaps Perhaps rather than attacking the person's exterior, your real problem is what's going on in the interior. And if you want to support your sister and really have some input into what's going on, rather than attacking the color, say, you know, how about picking a guy who's steadily employed, a man who can support you, a man who is educated perhaps, somebody who can contribute something to her life. Don't because wait. it seems that that's not what she wants. Do you think, in, in reality, if she picks uh, an attorney, I mean, somebody who makes a lot of money, very successful, good guy? I think guy. that's a good question. The real issue, though, is that you want to look at, again, I have to quote Dr. Martin Luther King on this, we want to look at the content of the person's character, not the color of their skin. That's, that's it. Well, Brett, he seems like a decent enough guy, but he just seems sort of misguided. Well, also, I have to say narrow-minded, because any time we stereotype any group of people, it's like putting blinders on and being only, only, only able to see this very, very small segments of people in a particular way. I based it on my experience. That's okay, but you know, the problem is, this is like doing research and saying, I did research on these four people, therefore I can generalize about all these people. That's we can't like do it. That's like we can't do it. Yeah. Out of the four billion people on the planet, we can't get an accurate sample mm -hmm. from the small number of people you've had direct experience with. Perhaps you're looking in the wrong places if you want to meet an intelligent, educated, I mean, I've, I've successful the black I mean, woman. I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I've been around, you know what I'm saying? I've been all around the country. It has nothing to do with looking in the wrong places. I go to church. See, he always has every, an answer. He, I'm serious. Like, I'm yeah. serious. Yeah. So okay, that's so why if you get in the hot water, if you get in the hot and scalding tub and the mm -hmm. water scalding hot, yeah. are you going to keep doing that? No, because the first time you did it, cool it down and then you get in. One of the exactly, difficulties is that, that, because yeah. I'm brown. we tend to attract people who reflect where we are and who we are. And if we are saying that you're meeting people that you think are not open-minded, that they're all narrow-minded and they're superficial and they're materialistic and shim or skid or whatever that word was. No, little yeah. kid makes money. You know, the problem, the the problem is, is that generally the things that upset us and other people are things that we have in ourselves. Mm -hmm. Self-hatred. Yeah. Yeah. Good point. We do have to, out of time, Doctor, thank you very, very much for joining us. We have to go. Thank you all very much. It's what's on the inside that counts. It really does. Thank you.